I'm loving the axe. And it just feels so much more... I don't know. Murdery. You know, it's an axe. I mean... It's an axe. I think I should just... The defense rests. Or I guess in this case, the offense rests. As far as I know, there is nobody here that needs healing. Everyone seems to be fine. So, all I need to do is go and talk to Dr. Swansea and try and find whatever clue my father has left for me. I'm, I'm not totally sure what I'm looking for. There's a locked, yeah, a locked locker here, but I believe that's one of the nurse's lockers. So where would my father... I never did get up to the second floor, did I? No. Maybe it's completely blocked off for good. Maybe talking to Dr. Swansea will enlighten me a little. You never know. But he does have something to tell me. What? Hello, Jonathan. He looks a little greyer than on the last West time. End front? Complicated. Just the lighting. Friend. The rich and powerful feel threatened by the disease and have asked me to put an end to it. Yes. It is odd how resolving a crisis suddenly increases in urgency when it affects those who matter. I'm sort of hoping you're being a little sarcastic when you say those that matter. I, I suspect you are. The fact that you're running a clinic here the way you do does suggest you don't think poor people are uh, superfluous to requirements. It looks like the epidemic is spreading to the western districts of London. I am trying to locate the source of the infection. It won't be an easy task, my friend. This disease is highly contagious. Uh... Do you not think epidemiology could be helpful in this matter? To retrace the origin of infection through time and topology. I knew if that. If anyone can perform such a miracle, it will be you, Dr. Reed. A little. Um, okay. <laughs> and, yeah, we do need to find the source. Since this epidemic is evidently linked to the vampire curse, we must find the original carrier to understand where it comes from. I admire your logic, Jonathan, but be careful. Rationality, when it comes to your kind, is not always a reliable lens. Mm -hmm. Intel about... Oh yeah. Do you know Aloysius Dawson, the famous tycoon, is well versed in vampire and occult knowledge? No, I did not. But that is no surprise. For half a century, it has been quite the trend for English nobility to join secret societies and occult circles. It's pretty much been that way forever, actually. Um, people love little secret groups when no one else is... Even kids do it, mate. This is the super secret hour club where no one else is allowed to come in and here's our secret code. Um, he's just a rich... Did he contact the Brotherhood? Did he contact the Brotherhood of St. Paul? Try to join your group. It would not surprise me, but I am certain he's never been a member. Okay. So, he is just a rich merchant. I don't think he is, but I'm, I'm going but to Aloysius see where this But Aloysius Dawson is only me. a rich merchant. Yes, richer than Croesus. Wealth is more respected than title these days, even in England. All right. And let's fill in a minute. Does in. the Brotherhood of St. Paul know anything about the Ascalon Club? Well, I'm afraid that's unlikely. Ascalon is a sensitive topic, and whatever material the Brotherhood has, I may not have access to. Who could answer me then? Usher Tooltree, our current primate, may be the only one able to answer you. He's a discreet man who lives in the West End. Ooh, can I find him then? Thank you for your time, Edgar. So I could perhaps find him and have a little bit of a chat. Was there anything new? No. I'm not rummaging around your office for nefarious reasons. I'm trying to find 
a clue my father may have left for me, and I'm not 100% sure what I'm looking for. There was a storage room here where I don't... Oh. No. Uh, I was going to say, where I don't ever find anything particularly useful, and this time I did. Okay. Uh, my dearest child, this is my last letter for you. I chose to hide it in the Pembroke Hospital in a box where apparently you wouldn't find it the first few times you ran around. Uh, do you remember how disappointed you were when your application was rejected? I'd never seen you so upset. For days you did not say a word. This was the first time I realised the darkness you had in you, my son. A black stone embedded in your heart, hidden to all, which I sometimes saw in your sister too. I fear, feared for you both. But I perfectly knew what it meant to feel this gloomy mood. The dark side of the reeds. The reason why I must go now that I know I'm condemned. Okay. I'm sick, my son. The diagnosis is irrevocable and death will soon come. I refuse to be seen like this by, the one, by those I love. This is my fault and my decision. You're so far away now learning with this Dr. Carol in Paris how to transfuse blood to save patients. Already thinking about how to improve the methods you helped to create. I'm so proud of you, my son, but you can't save me. I won't be Aubrey Reed, the dying banker, surrounded by his friends and family, unable to leave his bed. I won't stand it. I don't accept it, so I left. Just like you left us to become a great surgeon you are destined to be, the great surgeon I never want to see next to me, looking at me knowing I will die soon. Keep on studying, my son. Become whoever you're destined to be, and do it for yourself, not for your old father who loves you. I've taken all the necessary measures to protect you, my family, of any dangers to come. I want you all to remember me as I was, not as I am about to... I can't read that. Oh, Southwark. My departure for France as a promising student. My return as a brilliant surgeon. About to be killed. Transformed. Okay, I just I I I want to I want to read that again. Um, where was it? From the bot. I oh, see there is a quite a bit. I've taken all the necessary measures to protect you, my family, of any dangers to come. I want you all to remember me as I was, not as I'm about to be. I leave for I love you, my pearls and jewels. I do it because I have this dark mood in me. I hid them from everyone as long as I could. In a few days, I'll go where I stood when you left us for France. There, I'll leave you. I'll leave a last gift for you. There, I'll vanish, never to come back. Farewell, Jonathan. I wish you to be as happy as I've been with all, with you, all those years. Kiss my Mary and my Emmeline, Emmeline for me. Take care of them. Farewell, my boy. Believe me ever, my dearest John, your devoted father, Aubrey Reed. So. He went. Th this is the area where I got turned, isn't it? This is where he said farewell to me. But this is also the area where I was reborn. I, I, th I think it was there. I think it was there, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was there. Is that a coincidence? Am I going to find out my father actually got taken by a vampire? Because if he just disappeared, there was no body. If there's no body, there's no proof that he died. If he's my maker, then he's responsible for Mary's death as well. Hmm. Okay, do I need do I need to buy any parts from you? I might. Let's have a Good look. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still what trying to save have? lives? Clay's hatchet is actually pretty good. Upgraded. It's 235 damage. That might actually be slightly more than the double-handed axe. And I can add stun points to it. I can actually... What's this one? This decreases stamina. All right. I can add stun points to this and have it decrease stamina. That's always going to be good. Or increase the damage. No, no, no I, I like stuns and less stamina use. 
This gives six points of stun, which is not a huge amount, but this gives 41 stun. And I'm wondering if the mixture of the two could be kind of devastating. That's 275 damage. That is the two-handed axe. It drains blood as I attack, which is always nice. This is faster. Does not too dissimilar damage. And six stun points. And uses less stamina. And allows me to have Charlotte's steak. Which does a huge amount of stun. <sighs> Am I going back to, to stun and bite? I mean, that's the thing. I'm, 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 li I'm liking the, uh, the, the, the double-handed axe. I am. I'm not saying I don't like it. But, oh. Can I not? Oh. It won't let me have that in two places. I can't have Blaze Hatchet and this and... Uh, oh. Hmm. All right, then. Let's try that. And if we want a gun, we will switch to... Watch. That's the perfect axe. No, that's my two-handed weapon. All right, let's, let's try that setup. Axe and stake. Hand axe and stake and... Um, the common machete, I'm not going to be using that to damage much. Maybe I should upgrade it just in case. And Milton's shotgun. Should I upgrade that now that I'm thinking about it? This is definitely the best stake by far, so I can leave that. For... It is already upgraded a little. Seymour's bludgeon. Oh, actually, you know what? What? Seymour's bludgeon, maybe that has got stun as well. Um, I oh, it's already upgraded a little. I need common handle parts to upgrade that, and good handle. You know what? I'm giving some serious. I think I'm going to use Seymour's bludgeon. Yes, I do. Just because. So let's put that on instead. All right, so we're trying something different. Let's see how that works. I've now got a hatchet and a stake as my primary. So, right, I'm still supposed to be going and talking to Lady Ashbury and then carrying on my investigation. However, I really do want to find out what is going on with my father. I want to know if he is somehow involved in this. I can't help but think he might be just because. It's probably just because I'm I'm suspicious of absolutely everything. I have yet to meet anything I'm not totally convinced is against me. It's like, there's a lamppost. Is it looking at me funny? Is it conspiring against me? Is it secretly a vampire lamppost? And I've never trusted post boxes. I mean, look at them. Giant red bloody Daleks. The downside to now using a single-handed weapon and the stake is whilst I've got a lot of thirst for blood. Yeah, yeah. I've got a lot of stun potential, but I do need to bite to drain to get my blood back. Whereas with the double-handed axe, I can just get the blood back without uh, needing to do that. That, of course, means I don't need to upgrade bite. Whereas if I want to stick with steak and hatchet, I'm going to need to possibly improve bite. What have we got there? Is that a... That is a... I safe here for a gentleman. Stupid Good. Oh, look at that. Look how fast that was. Go on back to the shadows. Uh, no, but you can have some shadows. Look at that. Oh. No, you were... You... What the... F I had you targeted. You... Cheat! Oh, this is brilliant. This is stunning. Really nice. Oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, 
Oh, Stop and it's it. a good axe as well. It's a good axe. It is a good axe. Stop. Okay, he's gonna do. He's gonna do the thing. He's gonna do the thing. Okay. Oh, I totally and utterly. Don't even ask. Don't even ask. God, my blood's back. Oh no, no. I miss biting people as well. I miss. I miss biting people. Okay, what does he command me? Is this like Simon says? And stun! Oh, no. Get coffee down. Okay. Yeah, no, I missed the biting. Although that looked more like we were nuzzling. Yes, it did. Okay. What the? Oh! Whoa, I think he got me. Right. Now let's see how much damage the axe actually does. Oh, quite a lot. It really does. Yeah, honestly, that just feels better. Yes, it does. It does. Open your father's safe. Now, where would the safe be? Uh, apparently. Vampire senses telling me. Somewhere in... Way. This is where I... This is where I sort of started, right? Was there a safe here? I say sort of started. You know, woke up after my first... There was a safe here, wasn't there? Uh, but that wasn't it. Oh! That was it! That! No mysterious reveal. No letter saying, actually, I was taken by a vampire, and I'm very sorry. No. Uh, just a watch. Just a bloody what? Are you kidding me? Are you actually... Where... Where, where is it? And it's... It, it's, it's just one I can sell. I can sell it. And get some stu- Okay, well... No, I must have- I must have missed something! There must be this gun- Because otherwise, disappointed is not even going to cover a fraction of how I feel. Is that an- is that an echo? I'm not in the mood, sunshine! Grumpy vampire here. You should probably. Whoa. Okay, you got a friend. You got a friend, do you? Yeah, you do. Have I got him this? Oh. And then. Okay. Stupid newborn. What do you mean? Oh. What do you mean, stupid newborn? I'm probably gonna kick your backsides. Gotcha. I mean, look at that. I'm feeding off you constantly. Oh, God, I mean, look at that. You, you guys sort of suck. I mean, look at this. This steak is awesome. You have me feeling a little better now. Oh, oh, what? Really? Well, I can do that too. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't do that. What was that? What is that? What is What is that? Oi. What is that? Okay, I, whatever that is. Oh, kill him. Just let's get this guy's blood. You need it. Whatever that was, I want it. Just give me blood. Lots. Okay, why are you. Oh, we've come somewhere you don't want to be. Is that right? Come on. I thought I had him. I thought I had this last one. And die. Oh, really? This is my death. 
They are tough. Where's your friend? Where's your bloody friend with the whole... I did not like that. I did not... Oh. Oh. Is that actually on him? Oh. Nice. What? Was that... That was the spear thing, wasn't it? Was that the spear? Did he drain blood from me with the spear? <gasps> I need that in my life. I really do need that in my life. Yes, I do. Slightly less grumpy now. Right, let's go talk to Lady Ashbury before we continue on our way. Although, again, I've not been here for a day or so, so probably some resistance will be... There we go. Okay. Is my ultimate ready? Best turn around if I were you. Nope. Last warning, <laughs> Don't need another warning. Just need a bit more blood. Hey! Oh, God. And... That was, that was, that was bad timing, but... Sorry, you were saying? Oh, no, no. Oh, look at this. One. Can I do it again? Oh, dude. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. Just up you get. Up you get. Up you get. Up you get. Oh. Just too easy. Go back to your day job. Bloody amateur vampire hunters. Now I feel slightly better now. Yes, where the hell was I going? She is upstairs? Good evening, Jonathan. How are you? I'm still investigating from inside the Ascalon Club. Can we talk? Of course, my dear. Right! How is your investigation going? I have decided to explore beyond the dictates of reason. What do you mean? You may on occasion find this house closed when you visit me. If so, it is because I have gone undercover. Sort of. Okay, that's suspicious. I mean, it's like you're prepping me so you've got an excuse for not being here. So I don't think you're doing... I'm doing it again. It's the lamppost again. Here we go. Who are you going to surveil? I hope you're not considering spying on McCullum or the guard of Prewan. No. McCullum! I intend to ask a few questions in parts of town I rarely venture into. Dirty places where a delicate lady like myself should never be seen. Oh. Okay, I shall not ask them. When will you return? As soon as possible. And I don't intend to stay away for long. Ah, you're saying you won't be here next time I come back. Um... I have investigated new sources of infection, and I may have found a new type of scowl. One suffering from heavy mutations that is extremely contagious. Scowls come in various forms, you know. They are simply degenerate versions of their makers. I believe these families are different, and I'm currently pursuing a lead. I know I can find the true source of contagion by finding who created these creatures. That would be great news. Be very careful, my dear, when dealing with such creatures. All right. There are many paintings adorning the walls here. Yes. Did you paint them? No, my dear, but some of them. I have had a long time to learn from the best. I'm currently working on what could be my greatest masterpiece. Uh, care to share? What is this masterpiece? Your portrait, my dear Jonathan. Oh, God. It will be my gift to you, if I ever have time to finish it. Are you going to show me this and it's going to be hideously ugly? Like, 
Have you met famous painters? Well, she sort of suggested she did, didn't she? Have you met any famous painters? Are you trying to divine my age by cross-checking historical dates, my dear? Yes. That's a devious parlor trick. Well, Elizabeth, I tried my best. Don't I deserve some reward, at least? Well, if you must know, I even posed for the greats. Now that you know it, you may recognize me when visiting museums. Oh, so that's it. Now I'm going to be scouring museums looking for paintings where I think the model looks like you to try and figure out how old you are. Uh, oh, right. And that's it then. All right. Goodbye, my dearest. Goodbye, my beloved. Okay, we are definitely getting a little on the mushy side now. Right, I believe I have covered everything that needs to be covered before I chat with Doris Fletcher. And by chat, I probably mean get viciously attacked and attempt to fend off. I am um, everybody except Louise Teasdale is currently recovering, and I cannot give her any medication, which is unfortunate. So, whatever happens now... Oh. Uh, Alright. Then I guess uh, whatever happens now, first of all, is... Uh, I <laughs> fail at the shadow jumpy thing! God damn it. Go on, hit him! Hit him! And then stun him! Whoa, dude. Uh oh! Gosh! Yes! Oh, God, you really are. Oh, this is slow, aren't you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You are terrible at this! Really? Like. I mean. So slow! Really? Just... Oh, don't get too cocky, though. Give yeah, and... Axe and... Oh, nice. Wait, he had a beard? I only just noticed. So was he just, like, a random big dude, or is he guarding something? Uh, and why isn't he attacking them and they attack him? Where am I heading? This is not the way I'm heading. That's a safe... What? Oh, God, you know what? Easy does it. I just want to know what's going on over here. And besides, you're kind of annoying me. That would be me, yes. Stop, And I got it. Sorry to disrupt you in the middle of your life. Oh, wow. Okay. I need to speak a little quicker next time, I guess. Uh, no loot. What is... That? Is that a vampire? Okay, never mind. Yeah, if you're going to say something cool while killing someone, you have to finish it before they actually die. Otherwise, it's just, you know... Now I've you I've used my ultimate on Can I just stun one of them? Stun that one! Oh my god, did I did I really stun both of them? Oh yes, nice shot. That on the other hand, terrible! Oh god, he's doing that. Thingy again. Okay. Oh, nice, got the ball back. And oh god, he's doing. Is that the explosion thing? Probably. Right. Jo oh, 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 no, that's that's gonna. Oh, oh no, I'm, I seem to be able to take that as long as I'm. Feeding. Maybe when I'm feeding, I'm at my absolute strongest. Come on. 
I enjoy doing this to these guys. I really do. Find an access to the theatre. Why can't I just walk through the doors? Answer apparently not. Okay then. So. I'll just check either direction, although I suspect it is the other direction. Oh. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I had a feeling looking at the map it was going to be the other direction. And let's not forget to look. I still haven't found the phosphorus thing. The, the thing I need to make the fiery rounds. Which is annoying me a little. What? What? Oh. Ah. Oh. Probably don't need to get involved. Even if I save some vampire, they'll probably be ungrateful and attack me anyway. They always do. You know what? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm, that's the, no, not that one. I hate this thing sometimes. Okay. Yeah, when I'm feeding, I'm pretty hard to kill, apparently. Although not that hard. Got you! Oh, we got skulls. We got skulls! Oh. Okay. No, I'm targeting the rock. I really do hate that at times. And this one? Oh, no, 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 I was trying to trying to feed off him. I was trying to feed off him. I can't believe I'm failing so hard on these two nincompoops. That's my new word for the day, nincompoop. Where are the skulls? He's doing the rushy thing. And... One. Right. Scowls? No. Oh, God, is he still alive? Oh, wow, 29. Right. Yeah. Other side? No, I'm not heading that way. I'm supposed to be heading in there. All right. Maybe there's a basement entrance? Okay, let's ignore them. Where does that actually go to? Have I been here? This is white. Chapel, although is it the West End? I can't. I may not have been here. That is also. Lo oh. Okay, I think I have to go all the way around. Yes. And. I probably should clear the area as well. Just to be safe. Shouldn't leave these. Oh, wow, they've got a lot of. Okay, I have definitely got to focus a little. The guard of the Pridwin are bringing out their slightly tougher people. That's the one I want. Not you. No. I'd head back if I were you, sir. I, I'm trying. Got you. Got you. See them got you. This one's tough. And. Oh! And a refresh. Oh, come on, no! I actually did not want to... Uh... Oh, what, what's he doing? I didn't actually want to do... There you go. Oh, well, look at it. That is a lot of... That is a real lot of health. First, I think. Throw the grenade at me, will you? Good grief. I need to do more damage. Okay, stay away from him. Got your shield up, and then. Oh, God. 
Sometimes feel the one-handed weapon, even though it looks. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh damn it, I'm stuck. That feels a little like cheating to me. I can't get past it. Right. What was I saying? Yeah, for some odd reason, I do feel like this. It, it's, it, I like it. I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just, th there's a side of me feels that the perfect axe for some reason just does more damage. I don't know, it doesn't. I'm looking at the numbers. But it feels like it does. I think what I should do is just test it a little bit. Yes, indeed. Okay, so that's now opened. But that just takes me here. Where... Keep out, keep out. Is this giving me access to something? I'm supposed to be getting into the theater. Is there another way around? I'm not. Aha. Aha. Definitely aha. There's an open window on the second floor. I should be able to get in through that. Now, are we being English now and saying second floor and meaning second floor? Because, again, ground floor, first floor. See, first floor is here. That is locked. No, you, you're being English. Good man. Good man. Second floor. And here we go. So, not a lot of noise, not a lot going on. What was that? That was music. We have a bed and we have a letter. Suicide note. I can't stand the pain anymore. It's like my entire body is breaking apart since that bitch infected me. For days now, she keeps hiding in her room, giving orders through little written notes and only rehearsing at night. I witness one of her so-called rehearsals. She walks on stage, angry and hateful, spitting and whining about her fading beauty. The bitch is infected, rotten to the core, and she plans to infect everyone in this place and then everyone in London. Her next play is not before December, and at this time... All the theatre's employees will be her obedient minions. Oh, oh, by this time. Forced to serve her evil machinations. I'm sure she's found a way to corrupt our food or the water since we all start to get ill and change after the meal she arranged for us last Monday. I want whoever finds this note to know that I only killed myself to escape the living hell that this place has become. May God have mercy on me and my immortal soul since I refuse to be an accomplice to this devilry. Okay, I think we may have come to the right place. I can't... Woe to you, nations of hypocrites. For in front of you stands the tall queen. You can but lower your head, fit only to smirk at her soiled feet. Right. Can that be Doris Fletcher's voice? Where does it come from? I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark, probably from her throat and mouth. <sighs> okay. I can't always use my vampire senses. It's like in some places it won't let me. Somebody has been here, <sighs> looted before me. So we've got to fight Scowls all the way down. These are probably the other performers, right? She's a little more resistant. To... Oh, what was I saying? I was going to change to the big axe. 
Did that do more damage? Did it? Felt like it did. Could just be in my head. Ah. Uh, oh, no. Before I go in there, I just want to check around. I have a, a strange feeling that that will allow me to see Doris. And before I... Oh. Or maybe that's how I'll be seeing Doris. I saw her in the flesh. The witch from my childhood nightmares. That... The bitch that tortured me for years. Old Doris Fletcher's diary. So this is Doris. I saw her and I shivered. Her voice. Her face. I knew she was in that hospital. I knew she was sick. I wanted to witness her suffering. I may have reinvented myself, become a famous actress, erase those wicked years from my memory. I can't forget I'm her daughter. When I saw her frail body in that small bed, suffering, sick, defeated, I had to hire, hide my tears for she was looking at me. She recognised me. She saw the hate in my eyes and she smiled. My pale corpse of a mother. And the worst thing is I felt no satisfaction seeing her in so much pain. The worst was not to suddenly remember the beatings and the abuses. No, the worst was to recognise the hate I felt in my heart when she looked at me, for it was the same hate I saw in hers. For in the end, I can't escape being her daughter. We are the same, my mother and I. Okay, so definitely mummy issues. Right, ooh, blood samples. Let's go and check in here. I have a feeling this doorway leads to a balcony that allows me to... Wild feet. There's nothing there. Ha! Okay. She looks a little, um... Will they adore me again? No. When they share my fate? Oh. For I have been raised through hate. But I offer only love. Yeah, I've seen the results of your love. Honestly, I think I'd prefer the hate. Just, just, you know, personal preference. Call me picky. Call me odd. Call me strange. All right, let's do this. Did I see some? No, it's just a shiny, shiny tile. Stop thinking everything that's shiny is loot. The man who was dead. Doris Fletcher, Archer Noel, and Simon Bells. The man who was dead. I wonder if she's uh, doing plays about vampires. This leads down. Aha. And... This also looks like it leads down. I feel it is in my best interests that I investigate everywhere and try to find out what is going on before I say hello. Many can testify to her kindness and beauty. For now she hides in shadow, ugly as sin. But when you burn and die, she will rise and be queen again. Are you talking about the queen that the apparition will they warned adore me about? Me again when they share my fate. I have been raised so it looks like that way down leads to the stage so I feel like this is the place to start <sighs> ill-formed blinker scowl a tough one can I get close and stun? should I even try Let's try. Let's. 
Oh, God. Where did she go? Right. Do the... Oh, she's right behind you. Oh, no, no, it's one of those. Get. Where are you? Oh, God. Oh, no, I can't remember. I don't have my... Right, I thought I had the stun thing, but I don't. Do Each slash with this should give me some blood back, which is nice. Right. Is this better? I, I sort of feel it is. I just... I, I know... I mean, it just feels like I'm hitting very hard. Really does. I feel, I feel like I'm... Oh, that would take me out. No, we're not ready to go... Out yet. Ah. I believe this would... Oh, that takes me to the... That's the main entrance, so... Then we know where we're going. Backstage. We have a backstage pass, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that nice? So, yeah, I, for some odd reason, even without the stuns, that just feels better. I'm doing a lot of damage. And I'm draining blood. <sighs> Okay. Stage called Dr. Reed, I guess. Who are you? You who dared enter my realm. Are you here to worship or mock me? Oh, uh, kill. I'm here to put an end to the vampire epidemic, Miss Fletcher. Ah. But Doris Fletcher is no more. Oh, no, she was it's... consumed by this putrid flesh that now enshrouds her. You feel anger for what happened to you. But I can help The you. arm. Is it? I'm a doctor, Miss Fletcher. Doris Fletcher is no more. All that remains are the dreams of the queen she was. And the queen she'll be. Until then. All shall die, for that was her final wish. She's the same. Kill my children, my beloved. Die yes, I did. For the love of me. She's the same. Whatever you call it, species. As um. Oh, I've forgotten her name. The cranky old woman. Yeah, you. Whoa. I smell your fear. All right, okay. Big hits! Oh, no. A little, little. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh God! Oh, she's an actress. Oh. Yes! Oh, no, that was a fail. You probably noticed. Whoa. Your hand is shaking. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, I no, no, I thought I... Fear. It's a good time, that. Why am I... I don't want to be focusing on that one. I want to focus on... Oh, God. Oh, God. She... Oh, no, no touche. Absolutely no touche. She can parry or repost or whatever that is really stupidly quickly. Yes, she can. I I need my ultimate. That's what I need. I smell your fear. Oh God. Behold, Kinslayer, the disgrace of she. Kinslayer. Will she be the queen again once they all share her fate? Whoa! There's the arm. Where, oh, God damn it! I, <sighs> two of them now. Two of them now. Right. No, no. Make, get, no, no, no. That, she's moved. That's the one. That's her. Got her. Your blood will be. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, no, trying to get the lock off while dodging. Lock off while dodging. Oh, whoa, whoa. So that you can get. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, changing weapon, changing weapon. Gonna need the blood, gonna need the blood. Got it. Yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm getting more blood this way. Okay, got it. Right, got my... Yes. Right, yes. Okay, no. It's kind of very situational, isn't it? Oh, what's she doing? What's she doing? What's she doing? What's she... Oh, God, that's horrible. You can really stop doing that any time you feel. Oh, what's, she, what's she doing? And what? 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 See, it's oh. oh, I got it! I got it! I got it with a stun. You oh. killed my father. What? Prepared. I summon thee. Wait, wait, I, 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 I'm sorry. I did. I did what? I, I. Spit. There's more of them. Get, got it, got it, got it. Can we go back to the bag? Oh god, no, get away from there, get away from there, and... God, some blood, but I am seriously in need of healing. Yes, I am. That's better, that's better, that's better. Fuck you! Woe unto me! Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Got ya! Come on. Is she... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get up. Is she regenerating as well? She might be. She might be. Whoa, no! No! She is. Okay. Oh god, no! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get her! Get her! You need the. You need the blood, but you also need your shield up. And then you need. I should have, you know what I should have done? Changed to oh, other weapon. Okay. Get out of there, get out of there. I'm trying to get my healing back. Got it, got it, I got it. And. Oh, no, no. I'm trying to lock on her. I'm trying to lock on her. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm trying to lock her. Oh, Jesus, that is bad. That is bad. That is bad. Never. Got her, I got her, I got her, I got her. Ultimate time, come on. Oh no! Is she calling Princess Bride? Wait. I beg you, wait. What? I. I don't want to die. And I did not come to kill you, Miss Fletcher. Did Will I? you spare me then? Save this cadaverous carcass of mine. Does your heart beat a little faster now? You fancy me then, Doctor? Uh, no. No, Miss Fletcher. My dead heart will beat for only one. Ah! Is she pretty? Is she sweet and tender? To me, yes. Ah! I hate her already. I know. And this is partly why you must be destroyed. But you just said... That I did not come here to kill you, yes. But I realize now the threat you embody must be stopped. <gasps> okay. Will I be remembered? Will you? You were Doris Fletcher, the greatest actress of her generation. No one can take that from you. Thank you. 
and farewell. Farewell, Doris. Still a performer. Even at the end. Bravo! So dramatic! I love it! McCullum! Right! How strange I seem to find you whenever Him. I'm inquiring about that scal infestation. I mean you no harm. I'm not here for you. But once I put all the pieces of the puzzle together, I'm sure we'll have a little chat, you and me. Stay away from me, McCullum. You and all your war dogs. That I can't guarantee, Dr. Reed. But I'll let you go. For now. Uh, you mean you don't want to die? I should probably leave now. the theater right now. That sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> 